In this video, I'm going to assist the merchant with the setup of EBT, EBT split. And so you want to start with an app called Inventory++. And in it, we're going to click on the settings, and then we're going to go to EBT settings. And in EBT settings, the EBT snap split should be on. You want to flip it on, like right here, turn it on. Okay, on is good. And then here, we have assigned items. I have eight, and these are the items that are okay for EBT. Now, you click on this button, so, you know, chicken breast is okay, uh, beer is not okay, uh, you know, maybe, like, side salad and big pasta is okay, but, you know, the rentals are not, the fruits are okay, non-alcoholic beverages are okay, and see how everything is selected, and that's how you select, okay? My tobacco is not selected, buy is a drink, it's okay. All right, so here we go. We have it, and I have now 11 items that are approved for EBT. And I have my little checkbox that says remove taxes. And I'll explain to you in a minute how that works. So that's it, just hit save. Okay, and then here, just X out of this and close that. We're done. And now I'm gonna show you how it works. And I'm gonna go to register app. I'm gonna save my order. And so, let me grab my chicken breast first, right? So here's my $1.28. And you can see that chicken breast is now considered EBT item right here. You can see it. And then I can grab maybe some of my apple, 12 pounds, right? Apple is also uh, considered uh, EBT item. There it is. And then I'm going to go into my tobacco, right? And I'm going to grab my Marlboro. Now, Marlboro goes into other items because it's not tobacco, uh, not EBT, okay? So everything is kept separate, okay? And now, when we go hit pay, all right, so we're going to cancel out of this. What you want to know is that your orders are right here. Like if I click on split by guest, you'll see that EBT items are separate and other items are separate, okay? But... The taxes are removed, and so cancel. Right here is you have uh, this button that says split EBT double up, okay? If, let's say, customer needs to pay cash, then you can click on this button and add taxes back to EBT, okay? If they're paying with EBT, then you click on this button and you remove taxes from EBT. You see how it's less now? So it gets here no taxes because right here, if I go to inventory plus plus settings and EBT, see it says remove. Like right now, I'm gonna move that. No, I'm gonna uncheck it. So I still have this turned on, everything is assigned, but I'm gonna uncheck my remove taxes. Okay, so now that the taxes are removed. Uh, the, the checkbox is unchecked, the taxes will stay on. L let me show you. I'm going to go to register, and I'm going to save this order, and I'm going to do another one, right? So we're going to grab same chicken breast, like that. We're going to grab some fruits, maybe kiwi this time, like that. And we're going to grab some... Uh, something that's not EBT, like cigarettes, for example. So you have EBT, non-EBT. I hit pay now, okay? So now the taxes are on, okay? But let's say they pay with EBT. So you can click on split EBT double up and remove taxes. See, taxes removed. And then if you need to add the taxes back, you add the taxes back. Okay, so, and then if you go to split by guest, you select these items, and now you can pay with EBT, okay? And if you select these items, now you can pay with cash, okay? Or credit card or whatever. Um, so that's how it works. I hope this helps. Thank you.